Hey Capricorn. So I did all the 12 signs. I thought I did all the 12 signs, but I forgot your sign. But I'm glad I did. I was doing the timestamps and that's when I noticed that I've forgotten Capricorn. And I apologize for that. And before anyone says anything, this is the first time I'm doing an all signs reading. So yeah, I forgot. Anyways, let's see the person on your mind. How are the view on you right now? The person on Capricorn's mind. How are the view on you right now? The person on Capricorn's mind. Wants in reverse. This person sees you as someone who is working on yourself right now. With the Queen of Wands reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse here, I'm not holding the deck in reverse, I believe. Yes. Uh, this person, they see you as someone who's thinking very, very critically of them. Like you are judging them too harshly. You are the kind of person who judges people harshly or you're judging them harshly right now. And your self-respect like comes first here. Like there is selfishness in your energy. There is selfishness. You are judging them. You are being selfish. You are being too harsh with your words. You could have even said some things to this person here. But this person sees you as someone who is, you are not going to chase them. You are not going to come after them. You are not going to chase them. You are not going to do anything about them. Especially if this is a um, person you are romantically involved with or are involved with. Um, because the person on your mind can be someone with whom you have a platonic connection as well here. But this feels like a romantic connection. someone who brings in a lot of happiness in their life you brought a lot of happiness you bring a lot of happiness you have a lot of warmth to share you mean a happiness to this person or you meant someone like you stood for happiness when it comes to this person in their life someone with whom they felt a lot of happiness good times But this person also sees you as someone who you like you don't see long term with them right now you don't you are not able to see that there's a lot of delays in this connection for some of you uh, you could have been the one who put in a lot of effort into this connection but you didn't get something from this person's end so now this uh, this person sees you as someone who doesn't see the long term with them like you you are in this very pessimistic tone like you have a very pessimistic tone when it comes to them Also, what I'm getting here is for some of you, this person sees you as someone like your emotions ran really, really high when it came to them. You could have been someone who didn't really think clearly when it came to this person. You were coming from your emotions. You were too emotional, but you didn't think clearly here. pentacles yeah uh, you didn't have strong boundaries you didn't think practically in the past uh, for some of you you could have 
you know like put this person first and put yourself uh, like you didn't give yourself the first place here you you weren't your priority own priority here and this person sees you as someone who's right like you are prioritizing yourself four of swords at the bottom of the deck you are prioritizing yourself here They also see you as someone who's very, very loyal. They understand how loyal you are. Hierophant. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. you are someone who is looking for a higher level of commitment you're looking for a traditional com commitment you're looking for a higher level of commitment here they know what they have put you through this person is very aware of what they have put you through with the nine of swords here you have gone through a lot of anxiety sleepless nights feeling hopeless uh, feeling feeling a lot of despair mental agony you have gone through all of that energy but it's the energy of you have become wiser whatever this person put you through it has made you wiser You want commitment, you want long term, but with this particular person, you don't see that. This is how this person sees you. Like you don't see them as marriage material. You don't see them as someone who's worth investing. And you are the kind of person who will only invest where you see potential. And this person feels or they see you as someone who like you don't see potential with them right now. At least right now, you don't see potential with them. And you are not uh, willing to put in effort into a relationship or into a connection where you don't see the potential, where there's no long-term view here. So for some of you, it's very possible this person was looking for someone, you know, who would, uh, who they can have a casual connection, casual relationship with, but this person realized that they can't have that with you. It's very possible this person had lied about their intentions to you. It took you a while to figure out you both were not on the same page. Yeah, there was some codependency some attach, uh, attachment your unhealthy attachment that was there here again that energy of you both were not on the same page whatever for some of you this person they had they were a very bad influence on you they were a really bad influence on you they were a really bad influence on your entire life it's like your your life of, um, fell apart in a way uh, because when you were with a, uh, in a connection with this person here like all the shadow side your shadow side came up so the insecurity, fear, um, low confidence, jealousy, narrow-minded, deceitful energy. If this person brought up those uh, very dark uh, side of you, they triggered it. Could have been a catalyst you're dealing with. 
But yeah, we have the world at the bottom of the deck here. For some of you, this person does see you like you are closing. You do see how unhealthy this attachment was with them, how unhealthy things were with them, especially if you're looking for, if you were looking for a long-term relationship. And on the other hand, this person was someone who was could have been gaslighting you. This person could have gaslit you uh, saying that they did want long-term here, but instead this person was actually looking for something casual. So yeah, you have closed the doors on this person. That is how they see you. Like you have detached from this toxicity here. You detached from this unhealthy um, energy between the both of you. You're not gonna let this connection ruin you or let this person ruin you. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. You unstuck yourself here. Eight of Swords. You felt very stuck in this connection. Stuck on this person. Because it was such an intense connection here. It, it was one of those connections where the, it's very intense. You feel a strong pull towards this person. But at the same time you know that this is not really exactly healthy. This is not good for me in the long run. You do understand that. At the same time you also understand that this person is not giving you what you truly deserve. But it was difficult for you to detach from this person. So this person sees you as someone who like you unstuck yourself from this situation here. Whatever this energy is, you unstuck yourself from that. With the Hierophant here, you took a wise decision. Because Hierophant is the high priest. So that's like listening to your intuition. one more card piece of cups and a magician Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, uh, again, this is not related to this person, but for some of you, you are manifesting new love here. You know, like you had to learn some lessons with this person. You had to overcome some attachment. You had to overcome some toxic uh, energy here. You had to learn some lessons. And now that you have learned those lessons here, you are... Um, manifesting magician uh, ace of cups in the bottom of the deck is page of cups here you're manifesting new love here this is also how it's very possible this person is seeing you like you want to manifest new love you don't want to manifest the old energy. Like you are letting go of that old energy. You're closing doors. You're closing chapters. And you are welcoming something new here. Or you are ready to welcome that. You have overcome this connection. You have overcome this strong pull. You fell towards this person. And now you're ready to manifest something new. This is how this person sees you. Like you're pretty much done with this person or connection. All right, well, that's your reading, Capricorn. Um, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye-bye.